searching around eBay the other day, I came across this device, and uh, it's just a USB power monitor, I guess. Well, it's not just a, perhaps. It comes in this clear Perspex case, which I'm always a bit of a sucker for, um, but ultimately, it's a USB power monitor. But this one's got a couple of tricks up its sleeve. First of all, it's got two inputs and two outputs, and that allows you to test a few interesting things. So, for example, I can test the two ports on this power bank at the same time. I have two identical uh, micro USB cables here that came in the same box from the same manufacturer at the same time, so hopefully they're on the same production run and should be absolutely identical. And if I place a load, two loads, should I say, both set to 1 amp and turn the power bank on, There we go, it's gone into a different menu, but we can see that from the main menu there, I'm getting 4.8 and 4.67 volts. Don't know about the accuracy here. Both pulling 910 milliamps through those fixed resistors. And when we look here, we've got USB 1, which is 4.74 volts. 900 milliamps, it's been running for 32 seconds, and we've got 8 milliamp hours. And then again, USB 1, slightly different menu that shows watts and watt hours. And then in USB 2, we get the same information. So firstly, I can discharge this power bank at higher rates. 2 amps currently, but over 2 ports. So I could potentially flip one to two amps, and oh, the screen's gone a bit dim there. I think my uh, power bank's struggling at three amps. In fact, one of the ports is two amps, and one is three amp. But no, the same effect happens. That screen gets a little bit dimmer when we're pulling three amps through it. So first of all, I can test a power bank and deplete its capacity more quickly and still gain all the information I'm looking for. So we've now got 66, 67 milliamp hours out of that power bank. But of course it also allows us to look at different cables and how they might perform from the same voltage source. So we've got a reasonable quality one up here and a questionable quality on USB 2. And the voltage is lower on that USB 2, but we are getting a, a little bit more current, so perhaps they're performing the same. Let's have a look. Um, and if we go to this menu, we can see 4.32 watts going through USB 1 and through USB 2, 4.37. So actually, this cable's performing quite well. So I've jiggled things around a little bit now, and I thought this might be interesting to have a look at. We're going to have a USB power bank coming in on USB 1 here, but then the output goes through this cable into USB 2 input on the meter, and then there's a load on here. So perhaps we're going to be able to see a voltage drop across this cable when we see a difference in voltage from USB 1 to USB 2. So let me plug that in. And it goes to USB 2 because that's where the load is. And yes, it is showing a voltage drop. 4.84 volts on USB 1, 4.69 volts on USB 2. So what's that? 150 millivolts dropped. Interestingly though, it's only showing a current on USB 2 where there is an actual load, not the cable. So that's quite interesting. So this is quite useful as a cable tester. But then those readings are only any good, really, if this is accurate. Well, we've got 5.05 volts uh, at this point here, going through this USB cable. 4.78 volts, 0.92 amps claimed here. And then on my other port of power meter here, 4.77 volts, 0.89 amps, 890 milliamps. So... It's a little bit away by 40 milliamps and 
a few millivolts, but I think that's reasonably accurate. And the other thing that's useful to know is that when it powers off, it does remember the accumulated milliamp hours. So we can see there that on USB 1 it's showing 99 milliamp hours, and to clear that, we just press and hold the button and it clears it. And I think the final thing to mention is this little switch at the bottom here, and I believe that changes it from being powered by USB to being powered by the 5.5 2.1 mil jack. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little exploration of this USB power monitor. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you like, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.